Because central tendency and variability are so central to what we are going to be doing as we learn statistics, it's important that we understand how to choose a measure of central tendency and or variability for our distribution. And it should probably come as no surprise at this point that my advice to you when you're choosing a measure of central tendency or variability is to first consider the level of measurement. Are you working with nominal and ordinal, categorical data? Or are you working with interval ratio, scale, continuous data? That will be the first determinant. And so in order to teach you how to choose a measure of central tendency and variability, let me also introduce the things that we will be considering and learning about for this video. When describing a distribution, you will first consider whether you are using categorical, also known as qualitative data, or if you have continuous, also known as quantitative data. Categorical data are nominal and ordinal. For a measure of location, you will choose the mode, if you have nominal data, to tell us the most frequently occurring score. This would be the highest bar on the bar chart. And for ordinal data, you could use either the mode or the median, although if possible, it's nice to use the median with ordinal data. On the other hand, for measuring the variability of categorical data, we'll be interested in the range. What is the most frequently occurring score? What is the least frequently occurring score? However, in some distributions, that range can be a problem in that it becomes too broad, and so we would solve that by using the interquartile range. When we have continuous, quantitative, scale level data, to measure location, we will use the mean. However, there are other options for the mean, and so we will learn about trimmed mean, weighted mean, and geometric mean, and when we would choose each. For a measure of variability of continuous scale level data, we will use the standard deviation. But to get there, we'll also have to calculate a measure of variance. We can use alternative measures of variability like percentiles and quartiles, and always remember we are not limited to just using one measure. Sometimes it is very useful to report both the median and the mean, both the standard deviation and the range. All of these are things that we will consider in this set of videos about central tendency and variability.